Chrissy. I'm a Master of Science Communication Outreach student at the Australian National University. And I only moved to Canberra a couple of months ago. And ever since I moved here, I've just been wondering, why does my house have arches? As this question has been baffling me for a really long time now, I thought today we could do some investigating. And I realized that often bridges are in an art shape. Uh, so what I have on the menu for today is a cheese bridge. All you need to make your own cheese bridge at home is a chopping board, a knife and a responsible adult to do the chopping, and a block of cheese. Awesome. I've managed to cut our cheese into a bridge or an arch shape, but what we're going to do next is we're actually going to cut it into smaller sections so that we can see how each part of the arch is actually pushing on the other parts. So there we have it. We've got our cheese in a bridge shape and now it's in individual wedge shapes. So they're not exactly squares or rectangles. They're in this wedge shape so that it curves around so that each part of the bridge will be able to lean on the next part of it. Amazing. So we have just managed to create our very own cheese bridge out of a block of cheese. Yum. Now, before I eat it, just have a closer look. So what we can see is how the top section, this top wedge of the bridge is actually pushing on the ones next to it. And they're pushing onto these ones, onto these ones, all the way down to the chopping board. Oh, you're still here? Well, thanks for watching. And if you happen to make your own cheese bridge, don't forget to share photos in the comments below. Bye.